welcome everyone to this 3D Tudor Massive Tree Pack. And as you can see, these are all the trees actually set out in the viewport in actually Blender Cycles. So this is the full introduction. I'm going to actually show you how to use the trees, how to change them into actual proper trees so you can actually send them through to Unreal Engine 5, how to prune them and everything like that. So with all that said, let's get started. So the first thing I want to show you is that if you actually have too many leaves in your tree, in other words, if your blend is slowing down, or you want to actually send it through to Unreal Engine 5, then we can reduce them. So all I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this on material, just so we can see a much better look at what we're actually doing. And then we're going to come across to the right hand side. Let's grab one tree, come over to the right hand side, and we're just going to click on this one here, which is the particle system. And then all you need to do is you just need to drop the number of leaves down to 200, something like that. And then you'll see that all the tree leaves actually drop their leaves down. If I bring this down like so, you can see we can bring it down to near enough zero. So they're very, very adjustable in that way. Next of all, what I want to do is I want to show you the transparency setting because this is actually very important. If I come now to my rendered view and I put this on and I zoom into this tree here, you will see that we can see pretty much all through the tree, except maybe a few bits here, which is probably realistic in this darkness, as you can see but we can actually adjust that. So how do we adjust that? We come over to the right hand side and we come over to where it says um, the cycles engine, come down to where it says light paths. And then what you're going to do is you're going to turn up this transparency or turn it down, depending on how you want your actual trees to actually look. So if I turn this down, you can see they go really, really black. And if I put this on something like 20, you can see we end up with some bar uh, dark spots actually in there and if you turn it up all the way to something like 80 you will be able to pretty much see through all the tree now this does cost a fair bit when you actually render it out so just give it a test and see what you're actually happy with but you can see there now they look really really realistic now not only are these trees look good and look realistic but they also actually will be animated when you bring them in i'm going to show you how you do that so the blend file you actually get does come with the animation actually done. So let's take a look at that now. So I'm just going to put this again onto our object mode just so we can see our leaves. And when I press the space bar, you can see that nothing happens with the leaves. And this is because we've set the weights of our leaves to be near enough zero with our wind. So how do we change that? So let's put it back to zero. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to one leaf because they have the same particle system on the mole. And then what I want to do is I want to come down to where it's, uh, our particle system is. And let's come down to where it says field weights. Now you can see at the moment our turbulence is on zero. And if I put this on something like one and then I press the space bar, you will see that all our leaves actually move, albeit they move a little bit too fast. Now what you want to do is you want to come down and put your turbulence on something like 0.05, something like that just to give them a slight little ruffle like so. You can also turn up your wind as well or turn down your wind because this is actually based on this here. So this is the turbulence, this is the wind. Now the further that your turbulence goes from frame one to frame 250, then that is how quick the actual leaves will move. So in other words, if at the end of here, if you can see this is 250 and our turbulence ends here, if I actually delete this, so press delete and just delete that keyframe out of the way and then go to 250 and bring it all the way over here and then press I to insert a keyframe. Now you'll see that when I press spacebar, it's going to be much more subtle on our actual leaves, as you can see. They're only moving a tiny, tiny bit. And again, you can reduce your turbulence down to bring that down even further. Now, the other thing is you will see that my trees actually come in and they're already marked as assets. So if I right click and come down, you can see that I've got a marked as asset. Now, this is important for those of you that are using Blender 3 because it enables you actually to mark them as asset and then bring them in actually on the fly, which is really, really handy. So let me show you that now. So here we are in a brand new Blender file. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to simply come to my assets. You might have it as something else, but I'm going to click on my assets and here are my Blender 3 assets. And then if I go to my trees, you can see that I can grab and drag my tree in. And this actually comes in with the actual particle system attached like so. So now if I double tap the A, you can see we can bring in trees on the fly wherever we want them. And all these trees are different, of course. Now let's head on over back to the main file that I was using and I'll show you how to convert them ready for Unreal Engine 5. 
So here we are back. Now let's grab one of these trees. I'll just move it out over here. And basically what you want to do is you want to actually come over and you want to um, come to your uh, spanner here. And you can see that you've got one that says make instance real. So what I want to do is I want to make a new collection. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to new collection, which is here. And then you'll see that we have a new collection. It's come in here. So I'm just going to name this tree. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this tree so you can see it here and I'm going to put it into that collection like so. And now you can see that there's only this tree in that collection. And now what I want to do is I just want to come over and make instance real. And you can see what happens when I do that is it actually it leaves us with all of these tree leaves, hundreds and hundreds of tree leaves. And that's basically why I wanted to put it in that collection. Now all you need to do is you just need to grab your actual tree. So you can see if I scroll up here, We've got our actual tree. And then what you want to do is you want to come over to your particle system, which is this one here, minus it off. And now we should end up with just our actual tree bark. So all we need to do now is click the top one, come down to the bottom one. It's going to be a lot of scrolling because we have a lot of leaves like so. And then shift select the bottom one and then finally press control J and you're going to join it all up together. And now if we press, the render view you can see that we've got our actual tree and now it's ready to send out to unreal engine 5 or something like that complete with materials and things you will lose the animation but in actual unreal engine 5 because this is made up of all these planes you can actually add an animation in there all right so lastly let's move on to pruning so let's say you're not happy with your tree so let's go back and then what we're going to do is we're just going to grab one of these trees and what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to come up and you can see over here we have object mode. If you come down to where it says particle edit, now you can see that these leaves have actually been changed into the actual particles that they are. And if you come over to the left hand side, now we've got comb, we've got one that says cut. And we can actually come in and just cut away any of the leaves that we actually don't want. And then all you need to do, you need to come back to object mode. And there you go. If I put this now on render, you'll see it looks like it's had a little bit of a chop based on the top of our tree. So very easy to get rid of actual leaves. Now, what about if you want to get rid of any of the uh, branches and things like that? Well, that's actually even easier. So just come to your tree, press the tab button, and there you can see you can actually grab, come in and grab these actual vertices. So you can press C, grab some vertices, press delete, delete vertices, and there you go. You've actually deleted those out of the way. Now, if you want to get your hands on this pack, and loads of other packs, including free ones, then check out the links down below. You really do help support the channel. For those of you on Patreon, or if you're thinking about Patreon, you will be getting this actual pack for free. Just send us a message telling us that this is the model that you want this month, and we'll get that straight out to you. All right, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed that, and as always, happy modeling, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. <laughs>